Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. I'm going to show you how to create this in just a few minutes. Let's step in Photoshop, Control M. We are going to create a new document. Okay, so um, I'm going to use A4. And so I'm going to go to print and I'm going to look for A4 size over here. And then I'm just going to click on that. Then I'll go to my views and set my grid or my lines. Okay, so that I can align it well. So I'm going to set it 8, eight across. I'm going to set the side to 0 and I'm going to set the side also to 0. And then that is it. I'll click on OK. Right now, we just want to start off with the background. We're going to build it up little by little. So let's go, let's select solid color. And then we are going to choose this color code 5A. All right, 2, 6, and then 0, 0. And then I'll click on OK. Okay, so now this is going to be our base color that we are going to be using throughout. Now I'm going to bring my image as well. I'm going to go there. I'm going to bring this one for the background and drag it in there. But I do not want the color in the picture or the photo to show. Okay, I don't want it to interfere with the color scheme that I have chosen. Okay, so uh, I think I'll go here. I'll go and pick uh, place embedded. That will do, and then I'll place it. Okay, so I don't want it to interfere. So what I'm going to do is uh, right click it and convert it to a smart object. Right. Let's see whether we can apply that if we can't we'll look for another alternative all right so let's go and look for black and white and then clip it to it so you can see it's reflecting here you can easily come back and fix it if you want to we'll go back to filter and then we'll go to um blur we'll go to um gaussian blur okay we're going to set the value here to 22 we'll click on okay and then we'll set it to luminosity nice we are going to duplicate it Control J to duplicate it and then um, what we are going to do is we are going to click here we are going to go to Gaussian Blair and then we are going to set it to 7 we click on OK also we are going to hold ALT hold ALT down and click on this mask over here OK good and pick your brush make sure caps lock is off and then you pick, want to pick soft round brush for that and then increase the size okay so you also want to set the color to color white at this side lower left corner set it over there and then we are going to, go to brush this side in i'm going to brush this side in and we are going to set it here to 90 percent okay so i think this is good but then we also want to make sure that there's vignette it guides the eye to be able to look at what you want to make the viewer to see so i'm going to set it to black and then i'm going to set the side to um let's just see 70 percent great and then i'm going to click on the mask here white mask here and then i'll set this side to color black over here and then i just want to Click on the middle here. Let's see. Yep. I feel like this is enough. That's it. So now the focus is in the middle. We can put this in a group and then we are going to call it Control G to call it um, BG for background. Okay. That's great. Also, now we want to start giving in our text. I'll go and click on the text to and then I'll type here. I'm going to type HBD, happy birthday. Then I'll open my character. I'm going to use Montserrat, but then I want to give it my all. I want it to be black so it to be very bold and very solid. I'm going to set the tracking here to zero. And then I'm going to set this one to 120. And then I'm going to click on this and click on this as well. And then um, Control H to bring our lines. Then I'm going to make it big very big and bold okay so this is good also we want to set a color to color white so let's click here because white is a little white is more visible to bring in those contrast nice then I can go and bring in this ribbon drag it in there it won't come so let's go place embed it and then let's drag it in there Good. Then let's um, 
right click it and then flip vertical okay something like this okay so i think this is great also i'm going to click on my text tool again i'm going to type happy birthday i'm going to paste it there then i'm going to drag it out oh sorry make sure auto select is off and then let's click on happy birthday i'm going to drag it up and with this i'm going to just um sorry just resize it like that the other thing is that we don't want it to uh be too see the way it's compacted we don't want it to be too much like that so we are going to give it some space okay and then um, i'm going to give it around 400 nice interesting you also want to keep it aligned it's really important to keep it aligned even this is important to keep this also aligned all right so our two texts are aligned and then let, maybe let's drag this up a little bit more okay so we are going to select one two three we're going to put it in a group we're going to call it birth day control t and then we are going to rotate it like that all right you still want to make sure it falls in the middle that is what you want to do especially the text you want to make sure the text still falls in the middle all right so um i think this is great now that we have almost everything coming out nicely we also want to bring in our image okay so we are going to bring in our image we are going to bring in this particular one and then uh drag it down a little bit all right so let's see i think this is good now, even though the B over there cannot really be seen well, we both know that it's uh, a B over there, happy birthday, so it's still, it's great. And then we are going to bring in this, we are going to drag this one there and release it here. I don't know why now my, <laughs> I can't drag and drop. Uh, <laughs> okay. So. Going to leave this like that okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to filter i'll go to blur i'll go to caution or motion blur all right i'll go to motion blur and with this i'm going to set this side to 18 all right and then i am going to set the distance to 127 okay uh this will do all right so that is great yeah so that is it I'm going to call it ribbon I'm going to close it I'm going to call this image I'm also going to close it all right so that is it um, the next thing we want to add to it is the date and the date you're going to type over here we're going to pick the details that is it I'm going to paste the details there. Now let's edit it a little bit and make it um, great. We are still using Montserrat for it, okay? Um, but I feel like I feel like it's not coming up. For I'm going to take all the caps off. Then I'm going to also increase it a little bit. All right, just so it will become a little visible. Okay, and then. Because this side is 28, I also like to give the legend 28 as well. I like to do that a lot. Um, the tracking make it zero, and then uh, everything is good now. I'll keep it italics. I do not want it to be too bold like that. Okay, so I'm going to keep it maybe around um, extra bold. Okay, then drag it down. Drag it down like that. I'm going to bring in this. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna bring in that. All right. Okay. I'm gonna put it somewhere here. Uh, 
drag it underneath it. I'm going to give it a mask, pick my brush caps lock off, reduce it a little bit, and then mask that side. I don't want that little detail to show. Okay, so great. Let's let's push it somewhere here. Alright. Now the details over here, let's go and choose maybe one black there. And then let's just make it a little bit. Yeah. Just call it there. Alright, so that will do for us for the and I still feel like it's not in the middle of it. Okay, so now this is great. Now this is great. Let's call it eight. And then let's move on to the next item. We are going to add um some text down here. Alright, so let's add this text. Let's add this text down here okay i'm going to click here i'm going to set the color white then i'm going to also perhaps make it all caps um, let's put it somewhere this side it has to be on top of the ribbon so that it can be visible great and then um, let's see uh, we're going to maintain the size 12 over here but then we are going to give the tracking 700 Ctrl T, Ctrl H. All right, it needs to be visible like that. It also needs to be aligned in the middle like that. Great. It should come down a little bit more. Yeah. With that also done, um, we are going to add another thing. That is, let's go here. Let's add gradient map. Okay. What gradient map is going to do is that it's going to um, give give it some few colors that we are going to be selecting. The color I'm going to be selecting is 694444. Great. And then this side, I'm going to choose F4CF95. Um, Great. All right. And then I'm going to choose Soft Light. All right. Uh, love the way it is now. All right. So that is it for the gradient map also we need to add some glues to it yeah, then i'll go in there and then select the axe the side that side all right make sure my caps lock is off and i'm picking my brush to increase it a bit more I'll set it here then i'll go and set it to linear dodge nice uh we'll drag the first one here increase it like that and then go here and reduce the opacity reduce the opacity good control j and then also set it here but this side increase it more all right increase it more duplicate it again and drag it here but this we will not reduce the opacity let's increase it a bit more and then let's peel it on the head now this one let's drag it here let's increase it also a bit more also let's put it in a group let's call it glow now we need to merge everything together Control alt shift and then e to merge everything together right click at the cover it was smart object now let's go to filter let's go to camera filter and then uh we're going to give everything here the same but we are going to go to vibrance and then let's give vibrance some few figures there good and then let's go here let's go to, uh, click on saturation and then play with the figures But one more thing um, we forgot to add the name to this side so we are going to do that we're going to test test over there we're going to pick the name all right so 
okay, it happens. I'm gonna put it there and then I'm going to set it here to zero. All right, and then um, let's just make it 19 there, make it a little bit bigger. Also, I don't want caps lock, so I'm going to take it off. All right, and then um, what else? What else? I'm going to set it to medium like that and then um because this 19 i would like to set the legend also to 19 so that it can be seen well then i'm going to drag it like that also i'm going to skew it a bit more or maybe rotate it a bit more to coincide with that and i'm going to make it color white pure white but then i'm going to select lady here i'm going to make it extra bold okay so this is what we are going to do we don't want it just look like this is this really boring okay so what we are going to do is we're going to pick our that to make sure caps lock is of the pen to one two three four and then click on shape yeah double click on it here and click on color white so let's color white that is it and then click on your move to the movie there all right just to make it interesting let's call it name and guys that is it that is how you create something like this so if you love this video hit the bell icon subscribe to this channel i love you all guys peace out